The Bell Invictus 360 isn't just another addition to the world of military aviation. It's a symbol of the future, crafted to redefine what a modern attack and reconnaissance helicopter should be. As part of the U.S. Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program, the Invictus 360 is a response to the evolving demands of the battlefield. It aims to replace older models like the OH-58 Kiowa Warrior, providing the Army with a platform that's faster, more agile, and significantly more lethal. Let's take a detailed look at what makes the Bell Invictus 360 a formidable force in modern warfare. From its cutting-edge capabilities and advanced armaments to the investment it represents, The Bell Invictus 360 was born out of a clear vision to create a helicopter that could excel in the high-threat environments of tomorrow. The focus was on developing an aircraft that could not only survive, but dominate in contested airspace, where speed, stealth, and firepower are critical to mission success. At first glance, the design of the Invictus 360 is striking. It's sleek, with smooth aerodynamic lines that hint at both speed and stealth. Every aspect of its design is intentional, aimed at reducing its radar signature and enhancing its ability to operate unnoticed. The fuselage is narrow with a tapered profile that helps it blend into the background when viewed from a distance or from above. This low observable design is key to its survival on the modern battlefield, where detection by enemy radar can quickly lead to engagement. The helicopter's rotor system is a marvel in itself, drawing inspiration from the Bell 525 Relentless. Bell Textron equipped the Invictus 360 with a high-speed rotor system capable of pushing the aircraft to speeds exceeding 200 knots, or about 230 miles per hour. This is a significant improvement over traditional helicopter speeds, allowing the Invictus 360 to quickly reposition or evade threats. Additionally, the rotor system is designed to be quieter, reducing the helicopter's acoustic signature and further enhancing its stealth capabilities. The tail of the Invictus 360 features a shrouded rotor system, also known as a fan-in-fin configuration. This design not only improves safety by protecting the rotor from accidental strikes, but also contributes to the aircraft's stealth profile by minimizing noise and reducing the chance of detection. Combined with a retractable landing gear system, the Invictus 360 is built to approach targets quietly and with precision, hitting hard before the enemy even knows it's there. Beneath its sleek exterior, the Bell Invictus 360 is packed with state-of-the-art avionics and mission systems that make it a true force multiplier. The cockpit is where technology meets intuition, designed to give pilots unparalleled control and situational awareness. Inside, pilots are greeted by a fully digital glass cockpit that features large touchscreen displays. These screens provide real-time data on everything from the helicopter's operational status to detailed mission parameters, allowing pilots to make informed decisions in the heat of battle. What truly sets the Invictus 360 apart is its ability to integrate with a wide range of sensors and weapon systems. The helicopter is equipped with a sophisticated sensor suite, including electro-optical infrared sensors, synthetic aperture radar, and laser rangefinders. These systems allow the Invictus 360 to detect, identify, and engage targets with precision, even in challenging conditions such as low visibility or adverse weather. The helicopter's advanced communication systems also play a critical role in its effectiveness. The Invictus 360 is designed to share data seamlessly with other aircraft, ground forces, and command centers. This real-time information sharing enhances coordination and ensures that everyone involved in a mission has access to the most up-to-date intelligence. The modularity of the mission systems means that the helicopter can be easily upgraded or reconfigured to meet the specific demands of different missions, ensuring its relevance on the battlefield for years to come. The Bell Invictus 360 isn't just about stealth and speed, it's also about delivering overwhelming firepower when it's needed most. The helicopter is designed to carry a versatile and lethal array of weapons, making it a potent tool for a wide range of combat scenarios. 
The Invictus 360's primary weapon is a nose-mounted 20mm cannon, a formidable tool for engaging ground targets. This cannon is designed for accuracy, capable of delivering a high volume of fire with pinpoint precision. Whether the target is infantry, light vehicles, or fortified positions, the 20mm cannon provides the pilot with the firepower needed to neutralize threats quickly and efficiently. In addition to the cannon, the Invictus 360 can be equipped with a variety of guided missiles, including the AGM-114 Hellfire and the Joint Air-to-Ground Missile. These missiles are designed to take out heavily armored targets from a distance, allowing the helicopter to strike without getting too close to danger. The Hellfire missile in particular has a long history of success in combat, known for its ability to hit targets with deadly accuracy. It's a fire-and-forget-it weapon, meaning once it's launched, the pilot can immediately focus on other tasks, trusting that the missile will find its mark. The JAGM is the next step in guided missile technology, offering even greater versatility and precision. It's capable of engaging both stationary and moving targets, making it an ideal choice for dynamic combat environments where the situation can change rapidly. The combination of these missile systems gives the Invictus 360 a significant edge in any engagement, allowing it to take on a wide range of threats from enemy tanks to fortified bunkers. For situations where area suppression is needed, the Invictus 360 can be equipped with rocket pods carrying 70mm hydro rockets. These rockets are highly versatile, capable of being fitted with different types of warheads, including high explosive, fragmentation, and smoke. This flexibility makes the Hydra rockets a valuable tool for engaging clusters of enemy troops, providing suppressive fire or creating smoke screens to obscure movements. While the Invictus 360 is primarily designed for ground attack and reconnaissance, it's also equipped to handle aerial threats. The helicopter can be armed with air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-92 Stinger, which are effective against enemy helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. This capability ensures that the Invictus 360 can defend itself from aerial attacks while carrying out its primary mission objectives. One of the most significant advantages of the Invictus 360 is its modular weapon system. This design allows the helicopter to be quickly reconfigured based on the specific needs of a mission. Whether it's outfitted for a deep strike, close air support, or reconnaissance, the Invictus 360 can carry the optimal mix of weapons to get the job done. This modularity also makes it easier to upgrade the helicopter with new weapons and systems in the future, ensuring that it remains at the cutting edge of military technology. In the harsh realities of modern warfare, survivability is just as crucial as firepower. The Bell Invictus 360 is designed not only to hit hard, but also to avoid getting hit in the first place. Its low observable design plays a significant role in this reducing the chances of detection by enemy radar. By flying low and fast, often using the terrain to its advantage, the Invictus 360 can approach its targets without giving away its position, allowing it to strike with the element of surprise. Beyond its stealth capabilities, the Invictus 360 is equipped with a comprehensive suite of defensive systems designed to protect it from enemy fire. These include infrared and radar warning receivers, which alert the pilot to incoming threats such as surface-to-air missiles or anti-aircraft artillery. The helicopter is also equipped with countermeasures, including flares and chaff, which can be deployed to confuse and deflect enemy missiles. The helicopter's avionics are designed to assist the pilot in executing evasive maneuvers with precision, further increasing the aircraft's chances of surviving in hostile environments. In addition to these defensive systems, the Invictus 360 is built with a rugged airframe and redundant critical systems. This means that even if the helicopter sustains damage, it can continue to operate, providing vital support to ground forces until the mission is complete. When it comes to advanced military technology, cost is always a factor. The Bell Invictus 360 is no exception, with an estimated price tag of around $30 million per unit depending on the specific configuration and the number of helicopters produced. This figure reflects the high level of technology, engineering, and firepower that goes into each aircraft. However, it's important to consider the value that the Invictus 360 brings to the battlefield. 
Its combination of speed, agility, stealth, and firepower makes it an incredibly versatile asset for the U.S. Army. Whether it's performing reconnaissance, providing close air support, or engaging in deep strike missions, the Invictus 360 is designed to excel in a variety of roles, making it a cost-effective solution for a wide range of combat scenarios. The modular nature of the helicopter's design also contributes to its long-term value. By allowing for easy upgrades and reconfigurations, the Invictus 360 can adapt to new threats and technologies as they emerge ensuring that it remains relevant on the battlefield for years to come. This adaptability, combined with its advanced capabilities, make the Invictus 360 a wise investment for the future of military aviation. The Bell Invictus 360 is more than just a helicopter. It's a glimpse into the future of military aviation. With its advanced technology, modular design, and lethal armaments, it's poised to play a critical role in the U.S. Army's operations for decades to come. As the Army continues to modernize its forces, the Invictus 360 represents a significant step forward, offering a powerful, flexible, and cost-effective platform that's ready to meet the challenges of the 21st century battlefield. Whether flying low through hostile territory, engaging enemy forces with precision-guided munitions, or providing critical intelligence from high above, the Bell Invictus 360 is built to succeed where others might falter. As it takes its place in the arsenal of modern military technology, the Invictus 360 is set to redefine what's possible in the realm of attack and reconnaissance helicopters.